Hey everyone, my name is Rinal Koteri. I'm a first year MBBS student at AIMS New Delhi and I secured <coughs> joint All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. And I'm now going to talk a little bit about what should be your approach to read class 12 NCRT Biology. Now, it's not very specific. Like this is how I approached any subject really. But the one thing I do remember about class 12 NCRT Biology specifically is that it was a good mixture of topics which were which actually required you to understand the process, the uh, you know system at work behind it, and there were some which were just about you know straight up memory. So, getting to the point. Yeah. So, if you think about class twelve NCRT biology, there's a there's a reproductive physiology in um, humans and plants, and you have topics like genetics, molecular basis of inheritance. Then you have topics like uh, animal husbandry, plant breeding, uh, strategies for improvement of food production, microbes in human welfare. Towards the end, you have more of those biodiversity, ecosystem based topics. So it's a very wide range. And to some extent, the way that you learn them, at least the way that I learned them was different. So the thing with reproductive physiology was again, for these NCRT is very important. I had read it from uh, like institute modules and all which went way beyond the scope of NCRT and that gave me some extra knowledge and gave me confidence and some more clarity but for the most part in those chapters NCRT is what is most important. The second thing that I remember I think after that comes uh, yeah yeah uh, reproductive health I think reproductive health if I rem I'm not sure if that's the exact name reproductive health and the, uh, that is a very NCRT based chapter not not much you don't really need to go well beyond it so these topics do revise it frequently from uh, ncrt the topics which come after that like the genetics based ones right molecular basis of inheritance and um the genetics the uh, inheritance thing principles of inheritance and variation yeah that was the name these topics reading from ncrt gives you a base understanding but I do think that because here understanding the whole system and process behind it is important, I would suggest that for these chapters, it is good to go a little beyond the scope of NCRT. Like I remember when it came to translation process, I had first read it from like the modules which were given to me by the institute and it was very in-depth and you know gave a very comprehensive picture. But at the same time, I was able to visualize the process and kind of see what happens in translation when I read it from NCRT. It was more basic, but it was easier to understand and visualize. So I found that if I read it from NCRT first, I had a rough idea of how it works and what actually happens. And when I read from the modules, I had a knowledge of the uh, finer details. And principles of inheritance and variation, there are so many different kinds of questions that can be asked, you know, based on the... Uh, Punnett square and all so their practice becomes really important so for genetics read NCRT and beyond practice questions as well i think this is a topic where practicing mcqs is a little more important than it is in the other biology topics because biology is mostly based on just revision but this particular topic is based on understanding as well so that's one thing i'd like to point out uh, secondly, the chapters which come after that, if I remember right, microbes in human welfare, plant breeding, animal husbandry are again very memory based. Like I had uh, trouble remembering these because it was very theoretical and um, I had to read that many, many times. I revised all of these pretty soon before the exam as well uh, sp uh, so that I'd be able to remember. So those chapters read from NCRT. If you have time, go a little beyond the scope of NCRT. But for the most part, I think NCRT alone is sufficient there. But if possible, do go a little beyond. Usually not required. So
the vision of ncrt as many times as you can is important here the topics that come after like the biodiversity ecosystem and environmental issues those chapters again revision is most important for i forgot which chapter it was i think it was ecosystem the the part with like food chains and stuff like that and uh, in uh, population uh, th that chapter uh, i remember organisms and population uh, there's the part about um, population growth the different curves and all those things those are things which can require practice food chains particularly like i did struggle a little bit with that i remember <laughs> to get an understanding of that like energy flow and all that stuff so for those topics three things that i want to say read ncrt as much as possible because most questions come from there that is obvious second thing solve questions for those uh, mcqs for those parts which require understanding like uh, this um, food chains and all the third thing is especially in the last two chapters like biodiversity conservation and uh, environmental issues sometimes i think gk based questions have come in the exam gk based in the sense like about various environmental conferences and endangered species and the reserves where these species are found so those can be a little beyond the scope of ncrt i think when i wrote there was nothing like that but if you look uh, a couple of years before that uh, there were questions which are uh, somewhat general knowledge based so for those chapters revise ncrt obviously solve mcqs go a bit beyond ncrt Now, if you see the common theme in all of these is obviously NCERT, which I think is obvious. Like reading NCERT is important for any subject, more so for biology because most questions come from NCERT. But here I've just pointed out the few topics where it is possible that you may get questions beyond, like genetics and ecosystem biodiversity, where understanding is involved, or sometimes occasionally when they bring general knowledge into the picture. But for every chapter, the base idea is the same: read NCERT as much as possible. But in some, it would help, in my opinion. Again, this is not set in stone. It's not like a rule that every time there is a GK question or that there will be questions which can't be. solved based on ncrt alone there's nothing like that this is just something i'm saying based on the papers that i had solved in my institute and few of the previous year papers that i had solved so it's just a trend you can only make predictions and assumptions right to minimize the role of predictions and assumptions you try to cover more that's how it is the more you read the greater your chances are of getting luckier in the exam that's the basic point so that's about it uh, thank you so much good luck with your preparation